Hello, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another vlog of my dad's vlog. Alright, I got a couple of things to do today, and let's get started with the day. The first thing is this car. Gotta take it for a repair thing, a small repair, but a repair that has to be done. We went to go check out some aircons and prizes and stuff, but I'm so pissed, man. This thing, this, this was quite an expensive piece of sirpi, and now it's gone. I don't think this can be repaired. I need to go get a new one today. We came to EPF to do some small, small thing. We just have to do one small thing, just put one thumbprint. But it looks like we have to wait in this queue. Okay, it took us one hour, but we are finally done. Look at that queue behind me, God damn. All right, drop them off. And I am off to Sunway Pyramid to go get my laptop. Remember like a bunch of episodes back, we went to go give a couple of our laptops to repair that is done. So gonna go grab it. And then I'm heading over to a friend's house to discuss a script. So first half of today is errands. Second half of today is a get together and write scripts all day. So it's fun. Also, this rain is totally a buzzkill right now. Like, like yo, I was in a good mood today. I wanted like sunshine to reflect that, but the rain is sort of dampening it a little bit. Like, do you guys have that? Do you guys have that when like, you're feeling great, you expect sunshine and everything and then it starts raining and you feel like yeah. Does that happen to you? I wonder if the ice thing it's still like that and they got rid of that nice sign. Alright, I'm here in the computer center at Sunway Pyramid. Tanish, I had two laptops to repair. I left the receipt at home but thank god I had a picture of it on my phone. So this is the white color one. Right. SSD I already removed. This one is already fixed lah. Yeah, old charger. Mm -hmm. So spoil already. Hey Alright, so I collected my laptop. Uh, I gave them two laptops to repair and... There's a problem. So here's the deal, right? That day I gave them two laptops. One is my old laptop and another one is like my brother's laptop for them to repair. And I said, my laptop is the priority because Ash wants to use it for her work and studies thing. And this is that laptop. This is this is my laptop. And I told them, this is the priority. This is what I want to be fixed first. The other one, if you can repair, you repair. If not, it's fine because we almost threw it away. And turns out, this laptop is gone. Dead. Margaya. Pochi. Ille. Murinchi. Kada gandal. Satta. Pochi, RIP in peace laptop. This Acer Aspire S7, which is like my first ever laptop, is gone. It's an ultra book. It's dead. Apparently, the motherboard has oxidized. That means rust. It's gone. No way to repair it. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, the laptop that we almost threw away because we thought like this one, so damn cheap. This one not gonna work at all. This little laptop over here, this could be fixed. And it wasn't even that expensive to fix it. And it's fixed now. It works perfectly fine. But this laptop, the expensive one, is gone. It's dead. Margia. <sighs> I'm sad. I'm quite sad. Tonight, I celebrate my love for you. Thank you for serving me well over the years. I love you and I truly miss you. I'm actually quite bummed about this. Even though it's an old laptop, I got it in 2013. My first ever laptop, man. Like, 
first ever laptop that I got that was for me, that was bought for me. I remember the day that I went to buy it. I was very excited. I was working with my dad at that time at a construction site. So it was right after work. I was wearing my construction clothes and I had like 3,800 ringgit cash. Actually, no, we had about 7,000. Me and my cousin both bought the laptop at the same time. We had about 7,600 ringgit worth of cash in our pocket we looked and dressed like construction workers there was like cement stain on us and everything we went in and bought it cash and i remember coming back and being so excited about it at that point when i bought it it was the thinnest laptop in the world I mean, it was even thinner than the macbook air which was damn thin to begin with and i was very proud of that fact and it was damn powerful as well it was hella powerful the only problem was it was not powerful enough to do heavy video editing and hence why i got my macbook and hence why i actually stopped using this laptop if not i would have continue using it and i think it would have been working until now but like yeah i stopped using it and it's gone thank you for joining me for the little bit of story time about my first ever laptop which is now dead <laughs>